we're going to take a quick look at Warwick Farm Race 5 on Monday. Um, decent confidence betting race to get involved in here. Uh, we've got the top six rated. Um, top rated is Ur de V at 3.90. Second top rated, Louisville, 4.80. Third top rated, Gazumpt at 7.20. Uh, then out to Venetian Blue, fourth top rated, 8.5. 10 Gleefully and 14 Resistible. Um, if we have a look at our par ratings, we've got Ur de V four lengths above par, with, two, with 8.0 being par, 4.0 being two lengths above par, and 2.0 being four lengths above par. Um, and the nine, Louisville, a quest, slight question mark, um, but yeah, four lengths above par. Uh, if we take a look at the prices for this market, we'll see currently Ur de V is a 4.60 favourite, got it rated 3.9, so slight overs. Um, and Louisville rate of 4.8, currently 4.6. If you use an odds boost, you can back that as well. We've got the top two occupying 26 and 21, 47% of the market combined price of about 2.10. Uh, and realistically, by having one unit on both of these, you're gonna get a 4.6 unit return off a two unit outlay, um, basically odds of 2.30. So minor overs combined about a good confidence betting affair. Um, so we will be backing both of them for a result across the race. If we go and take a quick look at the form of these two, likely to be run at a solid to fast pace um, over the 1600 here with a fair few leaders engaged in the race. If we go down and have a look at the eight Ur de V first, likely race improvement from the Richard and Will Friedman yard, well bred by Schnitzel out of the Bernardini Mare CS Berla V. She herself was a stakes winner um, over 1,600 metres winning the Lalia Stakes at listed level in South Australia. Traces back to the second dam, Valkyrie Diva, um, who is a half-sister to Mackayvie Diva. She's also got two other, one other stakes winner in the form of Wales, which won the Reduce Choice Stakes at listed level. She's also a dual stakes winner herself. Um, a stakes winner herself winning the English Mile at Group 3 level and as I said she traces back she's a half sister to Maccabi Diva the third Dam Tagila um, producer of four stakes winners total of 15 stakes races like Armstead, Maccabi Diva, Musket and Valkyrie Diva um, so this one's well bred, likely to improve 1600 metres um, this trial second to converge, the format of that stacks up nicely, good margin back to third um, plenty of ticks back through the beaten brigade. First up from a spell, only beaten a length over 1,300 at Hawkesbury. Will come on considerably for that. It was very good breaking. It's maiden at Campbell Grange last preparation over 1,600 on the 10th of March. One by 3.3, made all on the front end. Has an adaptable speed profile. Can either stalk or lead, which is a big advantage with four seen leaders engaged in the race. The nine Louisville, um, very well bred. Uh, New Zealand bred by Redwood out of a rocket Gibraltar mare. This second at Puka um, in the uh, over 1,400 metres at the tail end of last preparation before it shipped across to Australia was very good. Only beaten half a length. They put a good margin back to third. The form references through the beaten brigade further back stack up nicely to suggest there's scope for more yet. Was decent first up behind the Smart Time Quest at Newcastle, second of nine, only beaten 0.13 of a length over 1,400. Will come on considerably for that. Drops from 59 to 57.5. Gets Kieran McAvoy. Nose roll goes on again. Chris Waller trains. Um, you can't ask for too much more on that form profile. So the top two that we want to be backing here with a decent degree of confidence are the uh, Ur de V and Louisville. Um, Ur de V, minor overs, rated 3.9, currently 4.6. Louisville rate of 4.8, currently 4.6. Uh, across the two of them, we're getting minor overs. As I said, occupy 47% of the market via our ratings. Realistically, at 4.6 each, that's about 21.5% or 43% um, in the betting market. So we can back both of those with a good degree of confidence for a result across the race. That is Warwick Farm Race 5. Thanks.